Hello and welcome there guys. My name is Matt from Just Co Consulting and today we're going to be doing another Microsoft Teams app. In today's video, we're looking at an app called Inspection. Now this app can be generally used for doing any type of inspection or checklist. Um, so in today's episode, we're going to be using a healthcare factory as an example. Um, but if you haven't got the app itself, click on the three dots here, simply type in inspection and then it will add itself to a team. Mine's just added to this general section here. So when you download it, it's gonna look something very similar to this. It's gonna have a few preset ones in here that just show us examples. Um, and this is the manage inspections page. So this is very important for um, your managers or people kind of behind the scenes. And then a, a bit later, I'll show you where we want to be uh, using this for the frontline sort of workers. Uh, so here's where we want to add our location. So I've only got one location here, which is healthcare factory. But if we did have multiple, we could have, you know, our Ashburton, uh, we could have our Mount Waverley um, office, anything along those lines. Um, I am using the healthcare factory as an example, just due to the fact that Jasco does have a fair few uh, clients that do uh, healthcare manufacturing, whether that be for PPE or whether that be for medication. Um, so I just thought it might be helpful for them. So let's get straight into it. Um, in this section, if I wanted to edit it, I could simply click on it and click edit. Now this is where we can change the title. So if we did want to make that Ashburton factory, we could do that or whatever we like and we can add in a picture there as well. Fantastic. Uh, now, the next section, which is probably the most important of them all, is called the inspection form section. Now, so this is where we add our checklist items for that said inspection. Um, if we wanna create a full new one, we click this. However, if I just click edit uh, in this one, it's gonna be very similar to how it would be as a new one. So this is our factory check. So this is a very, very simple form of it um, for one of our manufacturing um, factories. And yep, so it's called the factory check. I'm gonna be at that one factory. And here is our inspection steps. So step one is gonna be to check the PPE levels. And now instructions would be to ensure the masks and gowns are topped up correctly. Now we've got different action buttons. So yes means that it's all good. No means that there's, um, uh, we might need to add something in there, we might need to top it up, or we can add a little note in to say, uh, look, it's okay for now, however, we will need to top it up later. And we can have a reference image, so we could have a picture there of where the gowns and masks are supposed to be. Then we'd wanna add another checklist step. So here we go, this is the read safety instructions. Once again, view section A in the handbook, and yes, no, and here we could have a reference image. Now here, if we wanted to go add step, we could keep adding, we could keep adding, we could keep adding. Or what if we wanted to duplicate it, say if it's very similar to uh, the Ashburton factory is very, very similar to the um, Mount Waverley factory, we could duplicate this entire thing and it would become another one along here. So this is just the factory check for maybe Ashburton. And if we duplicated it, we could have it uh, exactly the same, but for Mount Waverley, something along those lines. So now, now that we've done the back end sort of stuff, this is gonna be for our frontline workers. So this is where we actually complete the inspections. So if I click on the inspection tab here, this is what your day-to-day -day workers would use. Now they don't specifically have to be sitting at a computer. You can use this on your phone as well, um, but that just makes it nice and simple. Now in this specific app, you can actually integrate tasks, which I've spoken about in a previous episode, uh, but for this video, we'll make it nice and simple and not do that. However, it just adds in any tasks you might have, ones that are overdue, ones that are specifically for you or any active ones that you might need to do. Um, but yeah, let's not complicate it. So what we wanna do is we wanna actually perform an inspection. So here we go. What location are we trying to perform the inspection at? Obviously it's gonna be at our healthcare factory. And now here's the overview. So yep, here's our picture of that. And here's what we need to do. So those are our two things on our checklist. So let's begin the inspection. Obviously, yeah, if we had more tasks, they'd all come up along here. Let's begin the inspection. Cool, cool. All right, so here's where I'd be walking around the actual factory itself and go, okay, cool. Uh, are the tasks, are the masks and gowns topped up? Yes, no. Uh, let's just say, yes, they are. Cool, bananas. Uh, we could take a photo if we wanted to as well, just to be like, okay, cool, yep, there's... 30, here we go, here's example, here's proof. And okay, cool, let's move on to the next step. And here is the 
Uh, read the safety instructions. So we want to view section A in the handbook. Okay. Uh, however, no, we can't do that. We've lost the book. I don't know what's going on, but we've lost the book. Uh, let's click add a note just to make sure that everyone knows what's going on. Um, we will just say we've lost the book. Don't know where it is, so we can't complete this task. We'll go save. So after that, we just click review. And now that is going to show that we've got two or two tasks complete. Uh, yep, all looks good. But here in the safety instruction, there is an issue noted. So what I'm going to do is then we go submit. And that's going to fully submit it. And then as a frontline worker, our job here is done. Obviously, we, we could follow up with management or something along those lines. However, that has been our inspection completed. And then we can complete the next one then the next day or the next you know, three hours when we might need to do our next inspection. However, now that feedback has been submitted, now the managers can take a look through the review inspections uh, section. So after we click up here in the review, it's gonna come up with all the previous inspections that have happened. So just when it loads up here, it's just gonna show us we've got uh, the person, the time when everything was done for that inspection. So this one's for the ambient section, but nope, we wanna go to our healthcare factory. Okay, there's been plenty of different um, different ones completed. Let's have a look at the most recent one done by me. So if I click on that, it's gonna come up, submitted by uh, just a couple of minutes ago. Okay, we've got one issue here, we've lost the book. We can't do the safety instructions, so we're gonna have to amend that. We're gonna have to work out how we're gonna fix that, all that sort of thing. And no issues found with the PPE levels, so that's awesome. So this current status is pending review. What we're gonna do is we're gonna close that or we could actually have that pending action considering yes, um, we do need to do something with this, but what I'll do for the video is I'll just click closed. So now it's gonna close it off and say, yep, we've dealt with that, no stress. And now we can go to the overall insights. So you'd wanna be doing this every time, just making sure that as, as a manager that you're checking through everything to make sure that everyone's done everything properly. And here we go. So overall, we've got five inspections pending review. So we can easily go through those and make sure they're all good. Two that are closed. And then average inspection time in minutes is two. So obviously it's not taking too long. If it was taking like way too long, we could go, hang on, there's an issue here. What's, what's wrong? Can we make it a simple process? Something along those lines. And then we can see the numbers, who's doing the most inspections. So just me for the minute, but you might have multiple staff doing multiple things. And here's where we can also check that they are doing the tasks and they are doing the checklists and, and the top ups for those sort of things. So that is about it, guys. Obviously, this can be very warped to whatever industry you are. However, in today's example, yeah, the healthcare uh, made it nice and simple to go through everything. But if you have any other questions, please feel free to ask. But I hope you enjoyed today's video and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you very much. Bye.